Hi there, Facebook. So I'm popping in today because I wanted to talk to you about how to tap in to the subconscious mind of your audience to create demand for your brand and love and loyalty and ultimately more sales. And why is this important today? Well, you might have noticed that it's so noisy out there. So the online world is super, super noisy. We are being bombarded in our Facebook feeds, in our inboxes, at left, right and centre with buy me now messages. And whilst it's never been an easier time for us to start a business, it's never been a harder time to get heard. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are ways in which we can capture the hearts and minds of our audience that don't involve sleazy NLP techniques or anything manipulative, but it goes back to basic human behavior and psychology. So I wanted to talk to you about three easy ways that you can implement these in your business to help your message cut through that white noise, cut through the clutter and get attention. So the first one of these is to understand the core needs, the core desires and the core feelings that your ideal customer or your audience want to feel. And the easiest way to do this is to go back to a tried and trusted uh, method that you'll know probably from school, and that is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So you probably remember that kind of pyramid that you learned about at school. At the bottom, there's like physiological needs. So we've got food, water, sex, breathing, um, shelter, those kind of basic needs. So our desire to, you know, um, survive basically. Secondly, we've got safety. So our desire to live comfortably. And then you've got belonging. So it's all about love, connection and relationships. And then the next one up is esteem. So self-esteem, our innate human desire to feel significant, to feel important. And then at the top, it's all about self-actualization. So how can you live life to the max and live out your purpose? So push yourself to your personal limits. So if you can think about where your product or service sits on that pyramid and what core need it fulfills. So where your customer are now and where they want to be. So where are they like stuck in the mud? What's the problem they have? And what's this core need or desire that your product or service can help them with? And what do they want to feel? When you've got that, you can crystallize your message around that. So not only does it make it really clear and cuts through all that noise they're hearing because it connects with an innate desire they have with inside them, it also helps you be different because it's different to what other people are putting out there. So I'll give you an example. If you think of a brand like Nike, they sit on that self-esteem category. So it's all about the desire for greatness, the greatness we each have within us and that the brand helps people fulfill. If you look at Facebook, it's around belonging and connection. We come to the platform to connect with others, to feel like we belong, to make friends. Maybe Instagram is slightly more about that self-esteem because people want to be significant. They put their best curated self out there, don't they? Like the most beautiful photos, a news feed that you know, really exemplifies their perfect life that they're living. So it's a little bit about belonging, but probably more about self-esteem. So think about where your product or service sits in this hierarchy of needs. So the problem that you solve, the feeling that people want to have. So where are they now? Are they overwhelmed, stuck? And do they want to feel significance? Do they want to feel important? And maybe, for example, you could be a career coach. So you're taking someone from being in this kind of safety level of need. So they've got a job, they've got security, but they have this desire to do more, to be more significant, to achieve more. So how does your brand take them from where they are to where they want to be? Now, the second thing that I want to tell you about is once you've crystallized that feeling, once you know what your audience's need are, weaving that into story. And why story? Well, essentially story bypasses that conscious part of our brain and goes straight to the subconscious. Because when we learn facts and figures and data points, we kind of switch off. Like where you, if I gave you a list of things 
to remember, you would switch off. But you think about a story, think about taking a customer on a journey, putting your customer at the center as the hero. So your customer, he or she is a hero of your story. They're in this place where they're struggling. Maybe that, like I said, with the coach example of a career coach, they're hating their job. They really want to change, but they're stuck. They've tried a few things and they're climbing this mountain on their journey and then they meet you who is their guide and you give them a solution and you help show them how to get to the end result and the feeling. So if you can weave your message into a story arc, it's much easier to connect emotionally and to create a relationship. It also works exactly the same if you have a product. So say you have someone, you have a skincare product, um, just off the top of my head. So you've got someone who's struggling with acne or troubled skin. They react to absolutely everything. They've bought all these different products out there. Nothing's worked. They've wasted money. They're feeling despair. And they want to feel confident. They want to feel significant. They want to feel great in their skin. Or maybe they want to feel love. So they're on that belonging level. They want to feel love and connection because without having great skin, they're feeling significant. And then you show them how your product is the answer to that feeling. So it's not just the answer to great skin for great skin's sake. What is the feeling that great skin gives them? What can they do now they have this glowing, beautiful skin? And how will they feel? So first, identify the need. Second, weave that into a story. And the third point that I want to talk about is the law of singularity. So there's a great book on branding and marketing by Al Rees, and it's, um, I think it's called The 22 Immutable Laws of Branding or Marketing. And one of these laws is the law of singularity. And this is so important if you're wanting to cut through. Because whilst a brand like Nike may have golf, basketball, soccer, running, all these different categories, they started out with one track and field shoe. So they targeted athletes who, university athletes at track and field with one product and one message. When they conquered that market, then they expanded their brand into different audiences and different markets. And where most people go wrong, and especially small business, if you don't have a gazillion dollar advertising budget, you can't go out there and conquer lots of markets at once. You need to find the smallest viable market and serve the heck out of them. So choose what you want to be known for. What is it that the one thing that you want to be known for? And don't go into fear mode here thinking, well, I, I offer lots of different things. I don't want to kind of cut off my hands and just offer one thing. It doesn't mean you can't offer other things. It just means that your marketing and your message really focus around that one thing area, your area of expertise or your one product and this one product of expertise. So to recap, think about Maslow's hierarchy of needs and where your brand fits. Use story to captivate and enthrall people and create that emotional connection and focus, be singular in your focus. And if you can do those three things and none of them cost any money, to do this, it's all strategic work, it's all thinking, but those three tiny tweaks can make a massive difference in your business. They can really help create wildfire demand for your products and services. And so to close off, I wanted to um, offer a gift. So for anybody that comments below and tells me what they're struggling with, I'll pick somebody at random and I will give a 30 minute marketing therapy um, message therapy session too. So we'll work through your message together. I'll just pick one person from the comments below. So share this with your friends, share this with other people in business that you think would benefit from hearing this. And over the next couple of days, I'll pick someone from the comments below and I will get in touch with you. So I hope you have an awesome day and this has been insanely useful. And yeah, share far and wide.